So get out your base pocket page. So this is going to be the spine. This is page three. You are going to cut a piece of black construction, black, black cardstock, six and a quarter inches tall by six and one eighth inches wide. Just make sure you measure these because um, you don't want to score them in the wrong direction because these are only half an eighth, one eighth of an inch difference. So this is going to be your left flap. You're going to score, you're going to cut another piece six and a quarter inches tall by three and three quarter inches wide. So you're going to get your left flap. You're going to put it in so the six and one eighth is on top. And you are going to score it at a half an inch. And an eight, you're going to add another eighth of an inch. You're going to have an eighth of an inch gusset. So half an inch and then just go up to the next score mark. That's going to give you an eighth of an inch gusset. that got okay and then this one is going to be our left flap and we're going to have a gusset on this side too same thing half an inch and then the one eighth of an inch okay we're done with that so now you're going to fold and burnish these little tiny gussets, and I will do that. So there's our eighth of an inch gusset, if you can see that. So we have these two pieces. So I am going to add my score tape to this half an inch flap, and I'm going to miter these little corners here. So the flaps are ready to be put in. Where are you gonna put them in? You are going to grab this piece from the 8x8 collection. This is going to serve as the back of this, this pocket page. So what, what I did is I kind of aligned where I'm going to have my reveal down there. And I made a mark right at See where this yellow line is? I just made a mark there. What you're going to be doing is that is the where you're going to be putting your, your paper, your flap. You're going to be aligning it with that little tick mark. So it's going to be right at that tick mark. So you can put in this flap, this last flap, Oops, I almost covered up my gusset. Put this flap down like that. So you've got it lined up with that tick mark. Pull the tape and get that, that one in. So this one is in. This flap is in. This right flap, you're going to just line it up with the edge here, and you just want to make sure it's aligned with your other flap, so it's straight across this way. So let's get it lined up. You got your gussets. Make sure they're well formed. Put this down and align it up so it is in line with your 
with your left flap. So right flap aligned with the right flap, um, right flap aligned with your left flap, and just put that down. Okay, so those two flaps are in. Now what you can do is you can go ahead, let me make sure you can. Yes, indeed, there's nothing else we got there. You can go ahead and put this back panel in. So you just measure it where you had those tick marks and you want this, this flap to be going over right where that yellow line was. So that's how you're gonna align this. Obviously, you're gonna to have to trim a little bit off of the sides. Um, you can just trim a little, little bit off the side here and you need to trim a little bit off of the top up here. So this is gonna measure seven and seven eighths. Just trim a little bit off there and a little bit off the side here. And then that back panel will be in. Oof. Okay, now we're going to build a waterfall on this back panel. So we are going to be making a waterfall. So you are going to be cutting four pieces, four and five eighths inches by five and three quarter inches. You're going to put it in the scoreboard, all of them, and you're gonna put it in the um, four and five eighths side up and you're gonna score at a half an inch, and you are going to fold and burnish that real well. So fold and burnish all those pieces real well. And we are, I'm gonna to try to replicate what I did on my album, but I forgot how I did it, so hopefully this will work out. So we have our four flaps, and make sure you want those edges to be really crisp, sharp as you can get them. Got your score tape on, fuse glue, fuse glue. So we are going to build these on a base. Now this base is the exact same width as our little flaps, our little water flaps, waterfall flaps, five and three quarters inches wide. We are going to build it on this flap. And we are going to make this last piece another waterfall piece. And so we're gonna probably be trimming this last piece, but. We'll see once we get there. Um, right now it's seven, it's, I didn't tell you how tall it was, it's seven inches. This is seven inches here, seven inches wide. I mean tall, but this, this will change. So we're going to do like we always do. We're going to go at the very top here, line it up, and then pull that score tape. And you have this base that you are going to be lining up your edges with. So as you're getting it all lined up, you are making sure it's squared with your base that you're building it on. Just make sure it doesn't move on you. So the first flap is put in. And then you, you go like you would a normal waterfall, where you butt this up against this half inch um, fold right there. You butt that up, get that squared away, make sure it's aligned with your edges here, and then you pull the tape. So I'm going to be doing that off camera because I need to get my head way down. And once I get my all four in, I'll be right back. So I have my four flaps in. 
and they're on this base. So these are all half an inch. So you have these little half an inch parts here. So we are going to add a half an inch on this, this flap and that's where we're going to cut it. So I am going to measure over a half an inch and I am going to measure half an inch from this line here. So let me measure it. So I measured in half an inch and I'm going to cut inside this line that I drew because this is half an inch, but I'm going to cut inside that, that pencil mark that I made. I'm going to just put it in my paper trimmer and I'll be right back. So I cut that, that piece. So now we have one, two, three, four, five pieces, but obviously this one doesn't go up. So this is what I think I did. I put it in my score board and where this got your your half inch thing thing here lip here little you're going to find it on the scoreboard the place where it goes and you're going just to butt this up and you are just going to go straight across And then you are going to fold it on that fold line. Fold and burnish. I don't know if this is exactly what I did. I did something like that. So where is my, where? is my there here is the waterfall this seems complicated but it's not i always make it more complicated than it is so you have your one two three four five waterfall pieces they are going to be attached with this base only touching the back of the paper so how like this so we are going to be adding our tape only to this part here. So if you see how this waterfall, once you attach it, what you have is this clean edge down here. There's no lip that you need to be covering with any other paper. It's just kind of flush like that. So you still have access to this entire back sheet of paper so if you want to put something down here, you can. I didn't want to cover up this image, but whatever you want to do with this, this is open and you don't have that lip that you usually have to contend with. So that's what I think I did. And I must have done it like that. So once it's adhered in there like that, that's what you're going to have. So I'm going to go ahead and put mine in. So where you want to put this waterfall in is you are going to find the center here, find the center of the page. You are going to center it with the page and then you want it to, to be behind, centered with these flaps. So you want to make sure the flaps are covering your waterfall piece like, like that hard to see with black on black, but there's your waterfall. It's completely covered by your flaps like this. So I'm going to find my center on here, my center here, and then I'm just going to make sure that it is centered in between those flaps too. So let me get that in. So I found the center and get that straight, just close the flaps, got the same amount of coverage on the top and the bottom, so it's going to go right there. I just put um, some quarter inch tape, normally I would cover this whole thing, but if I want to, and I think I do, if I want to use this album for some other 
collection. I don't want to tear off all the tape. I'm just going to tear off, um, use my undo for these two pieces. So that will be easy enough. So I am going to go ahead and put that down like that. So you are getting this, this beautiful paper from, this is the patterns, 12 by 12 patterns. You are going to be cutting, starting your cut. This is the nice guideline right where you have these, this red strip down here. So you're gonna cut this red strip like that. Just cut that off so you save these, these um, the alphabet down here. So you cut that down there at the red line, and then you're gonna cut this over. Your waterfall pieces are five and three quarters inches wide. So you are going to be cutting this at a little less than five and three quarters. Like, I mean, just a little, there's five and a quarter, five and three quarters, um, maybe five eighths, five eighths. I did mine, I did my reveal, re I mean, really tiny. I probably did a real tiny. So I probably didn't even do that much but you can see how much um, space I have, not much. So I barely cut the paper just for a little bit of black reveal. So you're gonna cut that piece out. Doesn't matter how tall it is because you're gonna start cutting from the bottom. So the way you do this, once you cut your paper, you're going to start from the bottom and you're gonna cut out half an inch, half an inch, half an inch, half an inch. So you have however how I many half an inches you have. You're gonna have half an inch, one, two, three, four. You're gonna do four half an inches. Four half an inches. <laughs> so you're gonna do four half an inches, which is basically two inches once you're done. And then for the top flap, you're just going to whatever paper's left, you're going to cut that and fill in the rest. That way you have plenty of room up here to spare. So always start at the bottom, half an inch, 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 four half an inches, and then this top flap will be whatever you have left and then just cut it on the top. Real easy. And then you will make sure you get them aligned straight so you got your picture in order and then the waterfall will be done. So you got the back page and the waterfall done. Those of you that know how to do this kind of waterfall, you can just skip this part. This is just for those people that go, I really don't know what you're doing. Um, so here is a piece of just generic Christmas paper. It's cut to about the size that you would want. It's starting from here, it ends to the top there. So that is about the size that you would want. So what you're gonna do is you start from the bottom. You just start cutting half inch strips. So I'm gonna cut four half inch strips. One. Two. Is that a half an inch? Yep, two. three, and four. And this is the piece you have left over. So you're going to go to your waterfall and you're going to arrange your pieces so they make your image. I think that was my first one. I should have kept them in order. Let me put them back together again. So here's this, this sample piece cut. So here's one, two, three, or four um, half inch pieces. So make sure you, you put them back in the right order. And then you're just going to add them to your waterfall. Real easy. So one, two, three, Four. 
something like that. Obviously, these are not straight, but so you have something like that. And then with this top piece, you just lay it down and then you cut it up here to where you need you need it to you need to cut it so you've got your your waterfall complete and then you'll have some extra piece up here okay so real easy to do with any image you can do this kind of of waterfall to preserve that image So you have the inside of this waterfall page. This is all done. Now we're going to do the outer, the outer left flap. So this outer left flap. So you are going to get this paper from the eight by eight. We are going to be measuring, you're cutting it off at this red line. So you're just following this bottom bottom part right here and you're cutting it off at right there so you are just following that see that where that yellow is you just follow along that and cut that off all the way across you are going to be measuring in four and I believe it's four and a half inches yes four and a half inches and you are going to cut this paper at four and a half inches. This part that you cut, you are going to be adhering it to this flap starting at this edge here. So you're gonna go four and a half inches, you're gonna get aligned and you'll have to trim it off up here a little bit too. You can see how mine has been trimmed off. That's where I trimmed mine off. You can see that, like that. You're just measuring it, you're cutting it to fit. So you've cut this piece and you've adhered it to this left, the left part of the flap, this side, and then you're gonna have this piece left over. You're gonna have a, a, a strip here left over. You are going to go to your red striped paper again, and you are gonna cut a piece to fill in here. So whatever size you need, it's gonna be obviously the same height, you are gonna cut it to fill in this piece. And that's going to be this part of the front cover. There's no magnets in here. The magnets are going to be on this side. Is that right? Or do I have my magnets here? Let me, let me check. Oh, we do. Yeah, I'm going to have my magnets here and here. So you can put this on. This is ready to go. This part of the flap, once you've had your cut, your four and a half inches cut right here, you are going to start with where it started right here. You're going to cut through this with love envelope and you are going to measure it and put it down all the way to here and then you'll trim it off on the side here. So you cut this four and a half inches. You take this piece and you put this piece all the way to the right side here and you trim it off here. And obviously you're going to be cutting the top part too, to fit. So this is what you're going to, it's going to be looking something like that. Do not adhere this down yet because we are going to first have to put two magnets in here. So, but go ahead and get the paper cut and ink everything and then you can put your two magnets. So let's open up the flaps. We, we've done the inside of our waterfall. We're gonna open up the flap, our flaps. So you have your left flap. You are going to be putting small magnets in this upper corners, here and here. And you're going to be putting them, let me, sh let me show you where they are. 
on this. So here's our inner flap. Those are where the magnets are, if you can see them. Those are where the magnets are placed on that inner flap, the left inner flap. See, like that and like that. So you're going to get those magnets there. And then you're going to transfer them over to, let's see, yes, you're going to transfer them over to the right flap on the outside. So these magnets here and here are going to be transferred over to this right outer flap here and here. So magnets on the inside of the flap, left flap, transfer them over to the outside of the right flap. Let me show you the right flap. There is where the magnets are going to be transferred over to the right outer flap. Can you see those magnets? So they're very close to the edge there. I guess I could have made this flap a little bit wider and that would have been fine too because we got extra paper. But that's what I made it. So they close like that. So that's where the magnets are. So once you get your magnets here and here on the outer right flap, then we can start applying our paper. So for the inside of the right flap, of this left flap, I mean, the inside of this left flap, you are going to put a strip that's covering these magnets. It's one inch strip that's going to be covering this area, and it's going to be a one inch strip using these snowflakes from this paper that we made our waterfall from. And be mindful of your cuts, because just be mindful of your cuts. One inch strip there. So there you can see the one inch strip of that blue snowflake. You've covered up your magnets now. Next, you are going to get a, we're going to make an inner flap right here. You are going to cut a piece three and a half inches wide by five and eight inches tall. And you are going to be scoring that with the three and a half inch side up. Let's get my score tool and you're going to score it at half an inch. And you are going to fold and miter that. This flap is going to be right at the edge of where you put this blue strip. So let me bring back our, our flap. If this was our one inch strip, if that was our one inch strip, you are going to be adhering this like an eighth of an inch from the bottom. You are going to be adhering that down right here. So you're going to adhere this flap right at that, that space between this, this one inch strip. You're going to put that flap down right there. 
you're going to have a little bit of black reveal between this this strip and this flap. So you get that down. Then you're going to... Let me go ahead and get this down. So I got my I got my flap in. Um, I forgot to round the corners. So I'm going to round the corners of this flap. Next, magnets again. <laughs> so we are going to be putting a magnet. Let me show you where you can find my magnets on my, my flap. I put a magnet right here on the flap. And its counterpart is, where is your counterpart? There's its counterpart over here. That's where it transferred to. So you are going to put a magnet just above midline. Just above midline. That's that's midline. Put a magnet just above midline. Again, close, close to the edge because you are getting another one inch strip in here of that blue paper, that one I just showed you. This paper, the blue snowflake, you're gonna put a one inch strip over that too. So get that, that magnet in and transfer the magnet over to this, this inner flap magnet. Remember, these are all small magnets. Transfer that one over, and now you can cover this. So you are going to cover this, like I said, with that blue snowflake paper. Here's my ruler. And this is like a one inch strip. So that is a one inch snowflake strip. So you're going to cover, cover your magnet with that strip. And then you're going to be getting this paper. This yellow paper is from the eight by eight collection. And you're just going to cut a piece that fits in here, cut it to fit in here and then cut it to, to fill in this part of the inner flap too. So we got our magnets in, we've covered, we've covered the magnet here, we've covered the magnet here, we've got our yellow paper in. So now we need to put, I put a pull tab here. If you wanna use a little a ribbon pull tab, which is what I did, Make sure you put that in before you cover it with the blue um, paper. Or if you've already put the paper in, you can put it underneath this paper here. It's just a little pull tab. It's just below the magnet. There's the magnet. So the pull ribbon is just below the magnet like that. This image is from the 12 by 12. This is the back of it. What I did is I cut around the orange on the sides. So you'll see the orange. I cut around the orange on the sides and then I cut to the top of the yellow from top to bottom to fit on my my little flap. So let me just show you how I cut it. But you kind of measure it so you make sure you get the right um, size in there. So you can see how I cut it. I cut the orange on each side and the top just went. There's no orange on the top, no orange on the bottom. 
so it fits like that. And I've inked it. Got my pull tab, got the magnets, and that was this. Ooh, lots of magnets. So we got our magnets here. We got this flap in. We have our magnets on here and in here. We you put this in, you put this in. The only other thing you need to do is if you want to put a pull tab here, I just have a pull tab um, under here. This is also a one inch snowflake. Yes, a one inch snowflake here from that same paper. So I got a one inch snowflake here and then I'm using the rest of the yellow paper here. Same as this side. So I think we got everything. And then this just goes over and closes like that. So I think we got anything, everything. If you have any questions, let me know. But I think it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just doing those magnets. So we are done with this page. This is page three.